Okay, joining me here are the players, Granit Jaka and someone else. Can we start with the first question in the back? Gentlemen in the second row. Your team players and your coach in the national team of Greek make a video today wishing you good luck. Do you have the feeling that the whole country uh, will be supporting you tomorrow night in this final? Uh, of course, I'm happy that I saw this. Uh, this it means that uh, what I said a lot, a lot of times that the Greek uh, national team is one family, and uh, I feel like this. I feel like uh, the Greek the Greek people is uh, behind of Arsenal and behind of me, and uh, I hope that uh, they bring luck to us. That one in the first row. A question for Papa. Um, there's a suggestion that. Lauren Koscielny, it might be his last game for Arsenal tomorrow. Are you aware of that? Are the team aware of that? And if it is, does prove to be his last game, would it be fitting for the career he's had at Arsenal to go out lifting a European trophy? I think that uh, tomorrow, first of all, we have to think the game, to win this game. And... Um, I think that Lolo he will stay a lot of years and I'm very happy that I, I played with him and I will be also very happy if I continue to play with him. Played in the middle. Papa, you're not on social media much but yesterday you went on social media and you sent a message to Henrik Mkhitaryan saying that I'm missing you, bro. What does it mean not to have him here with you all? With, uh, with Mkhitaryan, I have one... Uh, because we, have, we are five, six years together, so I know him very well. We are very good friends. And uh, just I write what, uh, what I feel. But... Uh, we have also to play with for him and for the players who is injured. And tomorrow is, uh, if we win this uh, game, is also for the for them. Gentlemen, look. Good afternoon. My name is Vadim, Russian Sports TV channel. Uh, you team came uh, here in Baku on 20 on you came here on 25th of May and uh, for example Chelsea came today's uh, at night it gives you some advantage that you came four days ago um Yes, we travel uh, Saturday night. Uh, we are since some days here in Baku, and we feel very good. I don't know; it's um, it's in the end positive or negative for us to be here longer than Chelsea, but uh, we prepared very well to be ready for tomorrow. Gentleman in the middle with the white shirt. Hi guys, can I ask Granit uh, the same question about Henrik? Do you feel it's fair that circumstances lead to a player being unable to play in such a big game? I think of course we are disappointed. He's not here, but um, I think we spoke a lot about about uh, Mickey and about a lot of politic things. Um, it's time to speak about football and. Yeah, he's very important for us. We know that um, on the pitch, off the pitch, and how Papa said before, we want to give him as well a trophy tomorrow. Gentleman in the black shirt. 
uh, hi, Harry, I'm Harris from Indonesia. I might be the only Indonesian in this room. Um, the question for Socrates, um, tomorrow you, uh, you will face uh, probably uh, one, of the, uh, one of the best midfielder, Eden Hazard. How you deal with that and how was the preparation? What did the, uh, Una Emery say to you? So tomorrow we play against a good team. Uh, it's not about one player. Uh, we worked very good the last days about this. Uh, Chelsea is a very good team, has a very good player, we respect. But uh, we came here to play our football. And uh, we know that uh, if we like to be in the Champions League ne next year, we have to win this game. So it's for us, it's more motivation. And uh, the last days we did uh, a lot of work about uh, this game. Gentleman in yellow shirt. Sati Shaker for both players. Unai Emery has won the Europa League three times with Sevilla. Do you feel any pressure to win it a fourth time for him? And has he, what has he actually told you in terms of uh, instilling confidence in you from that? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I think you have a lot of experience in this competition. Um, if one coach, even three times the Europa League, it means a lot. Um, we want to give him the fourth time um, tomorrow night. And yeah, he speaks a lot of his experience, uh, what he have before. But I think this, these words um, stay in between us. Gentlemen in the blue jacket, in the middle. Nice question for both of you, if possible. Um, for the short term and the long term future of the football club, how important is qualification to next season's Champions League? Yeah, it was now two times in a row in the Europa League. Um, a club like Arsenal, they have to be in the Champions League. And it's, it's an amazing and important game tomorrow uh, because we want to give us. Uh, the fans and the club, the Champions League back, and I think if you see the the season, maybe we deserved um, to be there on the top four, but um, it's a more big game, a final. We can take a trophy and we can go back to the Champions League. Question was for both. I think the same like. Uh Granny, I think that is very important for the club, for uh, our fans, for us also personal. And uh, it's a big uh, chance to, to take this uh, home. Gentlemen, the red shirt. Granny, um, there's a lot of talk this season about Arsenal's away form not being as good as the home form, but... The results in Napoli and Valencia, do they give you confidence that you've got over that now? And that, I know this is a neutral game, but you've come away from London and you can produce your best away from the Emirates now. Yeah, um, <clears throat> it was our problem in this season, I think. Um, if you take more points away, maybe you can finish the top four. But uh, we show against Valencia and uh, Napoli good away games. Um, I think if, if, if we play like this, if we play compact and we work for each other, we can beat a lot of teams away, of course. But uh, tomorrow it's not about away or, um, at home. It's a final. We have to be ready. Uh, it's not an excuse. <laughs> we, we play in Baku or, or some um, place different. So that's why um, um, I think we, we will be ready for tomorrow. We'll take two more questions, gentlemen in the white shirt, and then we finish with the gentleman in the second row. Hey, Granit, Beat, Teleclub Schweiz. Um, there are not many Swiss players yet that uh, won a European title. What does it mean for you if it happens tomorrow night? So we are two in the Arsenal squad. We are Swiss guys. It's, it's, um, of course, we are um, 
proud um, if we can win a trophy. I know not a lot of Swiss people uh, won this trophy, but we have to play first in 90 minutes, and if if we take the trophy, we'll be very happy. Last question from the gentleman in the second row. Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan. If you were defeated today, who would you think if you were defeated today? So I think uh, if we defeat, how we? I don't like to think. <laughs> I like to win, of course. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't think negative. So I'm here to win, and uh, will give uh, everything, 100% for win. I don't like to think negative. Gentlemen, thank you so much. You're now free to go to prepare for the training. Thank you. So, if you want to attend the training, please follow our volunteers who will guide you to the working positions. Thank you.